Yo, what's up, everybody? Rich Kitch Twenty here, back with with invitations. The Silent Force album today. We have Pale, which, uh, based off of just the small, tiny little bits and pieces of lyrics that I've seen here, plus the like one second three note sounds like a very interesting woodwind of some kind, very hollowy, airy sound. I think we got maybe a ballad up in our hands here. But, that's just a guess. Music can always switch on a dime, just like it did in that uh, in this moment song. I thought it was going to be all nice, and then it got metal. Uh, so you, ne you never know. Also, I finally got my boy Illidan back up in there. Uh, I could have put that up weeks ago. Probably, uh, probably even a good month, month and a half, maybe not two months ago. But... I knew it was going to be a whole endeavor. I knew I had to move it and get things situated. And it's still not really like, it's not perfect, but it's it's close enough. Only barely noticeable. So, uh, Ilden's back with us. Finally got this space here that was just blank filled up with something. So, uh, I'm happy to have Ilden back in my crew. Always happy to be back with some Within Temptations. So, let's not waste any more time. And let's get into it. I don't know if I finished that thought and or sentence. Why are you flash on me, boy? Oh, oh, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> As you saw there, my, uh, my, my, my webcam was freaking the fuck out. Which I think has done that once before. And I think uh, I'm plugging it. Blowing any dust out of there. And we plug it in should work but I'll, I'll keep my eye on it maybe if, if the webcam disappears for a little bit well that and then you know why all right anyways yeah talk about that later anyways let's go
may or may not be good for a little bit. I do not know. Uh, might need to get a new webcam. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but it's fine. So, that song. That song, though. So, the hat song. That song, that song, that song. It was very, um, I'd say monotone in a way, but like not, not, not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it, it, she kind of had, it felt like it was around the same, uh, same volume. Uh, you know, obviously notes varied and whatnot, but it, it kind of felt like the same kind of delivery for the, uh, the the verse and the chorus and the the, the bridge slash breakdown section um but like like it, it was okay because like the, like the music was doing a good job in kind of pushing the energy in the right directions for the right section and the different instrumentation was really cool uh but like the whole thing was like was just very mystical and soft and just like calm. Um, though the lyrics themselves do not look like the song would be calm, but the whole thing was just it was giving me this kind of. That was actually the first thing I wrote down there was like this kind of this Lord of the Rings, um, this kind of like kind of mystical medieval um what's the i don't know the words i'm looking for here like you you know what i mean just kind of that that that, that kind of like celtic medieval kind of uh a voice kind of like you'd hear from uh what is their name celtic women or something, something like that what i don't remember the name of that group uh, I also wrote down uh, Haley Western Raw at one point as well because it just kind of had that that echoey softness uh, and kind of spacey airiness of the vocals that I uh, heard in the one Haley Western Raw song I've heard <laughs> ever. Uh, yeah, there was something very interesting going on with those vocals, and the song itself was. Like just so like it was it was so calm, I was thinking like yo you could just slide this into like a calm chill mix, and like it would fit, it would work. That was so interesting, very beautiful. The instrumentation was very gorgeous. Um, yeah, let's um, let's go back through that there. I thought I had something in my. We're good here. This is all wrong. Get out of my way, everything. You guys, my all my devices are driving me crazy today. Uh, so just the, st the stuff that started to come into mind. I was jotting all this down. First thing, of course, I said Lord of the Rings. I said that mystic, very mystical. I think I heard a gong in there, very fantasy like, kind of like fantasy based. Um, this is the way it's, the instrumentation was sounding to me. Uh, I wanted to check out the instruments in general. Uh, Haley Western Rose, of course, I've been there, but uh, soft, airy vocals. So, yeah, all that within the first 50 seconds here. I really want to experience again, listen in, see if I can pick out what I'm hearing and, and what was that in there. First things first, um, that airy, that airy flute like thing going on here. Some kind of woodwind instrument it sounds very hollow, like the body of like a recorder or a clarinet, but like with the uh, with the kind of uh, blown nature of a flute, kind of flute sounding. So it could be some kind of wooden like flute or something. Not sure. Let's listen to it. See if I could suss it out a little bit further. Da, 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 da. Like yeah, just those first few notes just immediately make me think of Lord of the Rings. And then it obviously travels away from that, but like those first like two or three notes they made me think of Lord of the Rings a lot. Um 
I also um, now I'm listening to it a little bit more here, uh, focusing in. I'm really getting a kind of like an Asian sound, uh, not just because of the gong, a wooden flute like instrument, uh, but just kind of yeah, something about the 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 the, the intervals, uh, the use of the intervals and the notes in there is really giving me kind of like a I want to say almost like a Japanese kind of vibe. Uh, almost like Shakuhachi level, but not the right instrument. But like, like it's really giving me some Japanese vibes up in here. Ah, oh God! It's just the 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 production on that on, on all the instrumentation here, that kind of distant airiness to the flute and that just that the the the, the ambiance of that ringing gong, and then just kind of like all the sounds you can hear that aren't really coming from an instrument, but there's like a drone going on in the background or something. That is that is fascinating. It's like almost breathtakingly beautiful instrumentation here. Yeah, you have the the low hum of that bell, the dong, you can just hear the um, just kind of um, droning out until the next hit. It just has this nice low tone to it. Dun, dun, dun. Nice little kind of uh, the chords there going on from all, everything that's going on in the background that's holding out that kind of very low humming drone. It's like barely audible, but you can know you know your ears are picking up that it's there because you hear when it changes. And uh, her interval pattern, her vocal interval patterns are kind of uh, imitating that that dip that lead dipping down to the lean tone. Dun. And then back up to the, to the, is that, is that tonic? I haven't used that word. Oh, wow. Hmm. Uh, back to the one chord in the, in the key. Um, I felt like tonic's right, but I'm going to look that up later. Anyways. Um, yeah. That, that's beautiful. Uh, and the way she just flows with the background uh background sounds and instruments it's very interesting huh? give me that again and it just her vocals are just so soft seems not the same, I know. And this love I was a violin there but that also could be a different more unique instrument but yeah 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 very beautiful there any of those echoes kind of sound I heard in there there's so much happening in here so much little stuff written in here has actually that could be a cello it sounds a little, it sounds a little too deep in timbre to be a violin but it could just be like the really low end of the strings on the violin but I'm pretty sure that's a cello I heard that I, that I didn't catch those vocal notes before, those background vocal notes in there. There's so much happening. It's all oh. my state of mind. I can't leave. Yeah, especially right there. Yeah, that's where that's why I put it down, too. That's, that's probably where I put it down. Because it was one of the last things I said, and we're 10 seconds from the next note, so yeah. <laughs> Haley Western Rod, that, 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 the, the, uh, the, the echo distant effect, not necessarily the echo, but that, that distant spacey effect on her vocals, uh, plus with the nice high kind of glassy notes, I'm just getting total Haley vibes right there, that's so beautiful. Oh, 
fall off of it too? Okay, okay. Right, that's why I said here around here, uh, around 50 ish seconds there. That, that they, when she kind of she, she goes down in the notes and then walks step by step, step stepwise motion back up. Da, 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 da. Like, ah, oh, nice, just going up a scale there. Beautiful, beautiful. And then there's next to that, uh, the I want to check out the way that it kind of kind of pushed into the chorus because kind of like arrived at the chorus you could feel instrumentally that we arrived at the chorus but the vocals didn't really if i remember correctly didn't really change up but like there was maybe a different feeling to the to the vocals that signified we at chorus because you know usually when the vocal line doesn't do anything necessarily to say to like kind of change the energy or push the energy into like oh this is chorus time um, usually I have a problem with that, but I think she did something to her vocals plus the help of the instrumentation that it just felt like, yes, we arrived at the chorus. Like it, she found a way to change the energy without changing the energy of her vocal line, at least, but maybe the intensity of which she is singing and, or more emotion or something. She changed something that was like, that created this arrival at the chorus. I don't remember what it was, but I want to hear that step motion again and, and hear what how this, this chorus plays out. Have to stand up to be strong. It goes down and then up? Hold on. Have to stand up. Da, 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 da. As. As fucking gorgeous, man. Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. So yeah, there's a little bit of a kind of a push, like instrumental push. She kind of just arrives at the chorus section. Um, the vocals are kind of staying at the same intensity, but uh, the, the rhythm has changed up. It has a little bit more, a little bit more speed to it, a little bit more urgency to it. Um, and she kind of, uh, instead of playing around in both her lower register and those beautiful airy glassy high notes, she's just kind of living up in that top range, which is kind of giving it this kind of feel of more emotion, which is all the, the change in the rhythm and the change in the, uh, change in the emotion is like giving this, this kind of sense of urgency, this kind of this, this moving, uh, energy change up to the song. Even though she's only subtly changing a few things, it's it's pushing this newfound energy into the chorus. That is creative. That is fucking creative. Uh, I also wanted to check. I I think it's a piano, but I I swear I heard a harp in this chorus. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be listening for that. can't tell if that dun, 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 dun. I can't tell if that is a keyboard with like kind of a piano setting or if that's a harp just playing around on like three or four notes dun, 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 I can't tell but I like it feels like there's this uh this kind of warmth uh, kind of airy sound what sounds like coming from either uh, just sharing uh, harmonizing with stuff like another another uh, vocal take that she did or like a, a group of singers a choir or something kind of just give this like ah uh, or something underneath all the sound yeah there's something going on there I think it, it, it could be more vocals, or it could just be Sharon, but I, I even heard a little, nah, kind of like this, this, this very kind of like high harmonizing note in there as well, but it sounds like there's this, uh, just kind of this, some, some kind of life brought in on the bottom in there.
Yeah, it sounds like a piano there. Once it switches to the other notes, dun 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 dun, it does sound more like a piano there. Uh, but I don't know. I, I think it would be more cl clear if it was pizzicato, so than like a violin or a harp or something. Like that. I don't think it is, but I, in my mind, I want it to be. But yeah, no, it's just so beautiful and passionate. This chorus here. So you have that kind of gong ring come back. Could be a different instrument, but I want, I want to think it's like a nice little tap on gong. The beginning one definitely was a gong, but that one could have been a different instrument. Um, yeah, the lyrics in general, I don't know what is being sung about here, but I'm sure it has some kind of... Um, some There's definitely a message in here, like for sure. She's definitely singing this with an intent. I don't think it's just a general statement. Uh, I, I so just food and somewhere through the world seems not the same. It's all state of mind. I can't leave it behind. I have to be stronger. Uh, I have to try to break free uh, from the thoughts of my mind. Use the time. I use the time that I have. I can say goodbye. I have to make it right. I have to fight because knowing the end is worthwhile. It's just yeah, this this this, this it's, it's like. I don't know, it's like, uh, I don't know, based off the word pale, you know, I'm thinking like, that could easily be like, you know, someone has died, maybe life doesn't feel the same, because, you know, pale, you know, skin's turn white, it, whiter, you know, it doesn't have to be white. Uh, it's getting lighter, the, the blood's running, is going cold and running from the face and stuff to so get pale and whatnot. Uh, or it could just be life just feels paler. In comparison, because of your, your viewpoint, your, your viewpoint of life, because I don't know something tragic may have happened to you, or just you, you know, it could be some kind of uh, you just locked in this life sucks kind of thing, and you're trying to break free or something, or just it could be a number of different scenarios. But I feel like there's something specific she's singing about here, and whatever it is, like this, 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 this beautiful fighting passion to this song. And just it just has this gorgeous nature to the vocals. Just everything about it is just beautiful. And looking at the end here, at the end of the lines here, uh, just saying stuff like "time is precious, is worthwhile," despite how I feel inside. So again, you know, maybe outlook and life's changed, and you're kind of like, I'm kind of done with this. Uh, this night is too long. I have no strength to go on. No more pain. I'm floating away. You know, that could be. You know, you know, the, 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 it's bordering on potential suicide or just the thought of like, you know, I'm floating away from caring about life or something like that. Uh, through the mist, I see the face of an angel calls my name. I remember you're the reason I have to stay. So that's kind of bringing me back to the someone you care about, love, or whatnot is, is gone. And that's that angel, you know, went to heaven, is calling your name. And do you remember that's, that's the reason you have to stay? Um the mortal plane and keep fighting or something like that so that you can when, when it is finally is your time to move on you can go up and be an angel with them or something like that that's why i'm getting this song either way it's beautiful it's passionate it's heartfelt crazy crazy good now we're gonna let keep rolling out here because once we get to the second verse um Let's get the second verse here. Uh, some like drums come in. I hear some bass. I think from bass guitar in there, that wasn't in the first verse. Like very beautiful. Let me hear that. Flute Spain. And that echo, that harmony echo she's got there with herself. Uh, and I know is either I know or and I know and then it echoes and I know or something like that. Let me hear that again. I was not prepared for that, but the drums were cool. I know. 
Beautiful. I wonder if it's going to... I can't remember, honestly. I may have got distracted by something at that point. No idea. Or I was looking at the lyrics or just focusing in on the drums and the bass coming. I think I was literally just paying attention to the bass notes and whatnot. Um, but I wonder if it's going to keep, keep repeating... Uh, the, the harmony is going to keep repeating the line after she says or if it's going to change up at some point. I don't remember, but that drum and bass coming in is a nice touch. Kind of sounds like the string there kind of was the repeat because it didn't repeat after that. The vocal line didn't repeat after that, but there's a little like, no, coming in from the string there. That's interesting. Maybe... Maybe that was the other repeating line. Now they're together. Very, ec almost echoey, very like faded, just, um, I feel like that's the word. That's the way my brain, my brain's tilted. <laughs> Um. Yeah, the, the 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 distant spacey. I think that's what I'm looking for. Distant spacey kind of sound just creates this almost like this round sound that that harmony just fits into and under so perfectly that it creates this complete sound. If that makes any sense? It does in my head. We'll see if you understand what I'm saying. But yeah, it just it just the way the vocal is is mixed and produced in there with those effects and the the very airiness of her singing here just creates this beautiful uh atmosphere for that harmony to just meld with so well as oh, it's beautiful to hear to hear her do voices harmonizing like that Going back to just her, she's not harmonizing anymore. The harmony dropped off. I like that choice. It has this kind of like now with the drums and the bass and everything in there, it has this kind of like this more modern, contemporary, uh, like uh, pulse going to it, rhythm going to the song, but at the same time. There's all this fantasy, uh, uh, just beautiful, um, <clears throat> mystical, that's the word I'm looking for, mysticalness still coming from all the instruments. So it's like we're meshing both those together on this verse. And the harmony, wor the harmony work on these vocal lines is fascinating because at first it starts as a repeat, as an echo of the line, and then it fades away. They come together for two or three bars. It fades back away. It's just, it's just solo vocal line again. The writing of having it kind of like bleeding in and out at different random locations, together, not together, repeated, after, not at all. It's just fascinating how it's weaving in and out. It's just creating when it happens, it really creates this more impactful uh, effect on the vocal line. There's really clever writing going on here. I'm liking this. Right, there it is, 210, yep. Uh, that, uh, that's the either slide or jump. Not 100% positive, because it catches me off guard every time. But uh, that, 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 that push up to that high note, whether she jumps up to it or slides up to it, very nice, uh, decently supported. It's, 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 a little, it's a little fragile of a note because it's really high up there and she's trying to keep that very thin glassiness to it so i want to say it's like super rounded and supported but it's it, it still comes across very clean and just has this very beautiful like almost angelicness to the sound i want to i want to hear that i need to know if she slides up to that she jumps up to that It's it's a jump, but it almost sounds like a slide because she doesn't. There's no break 
in the note. Da so it, it does jump, but because there's no breath, there's no separation, it, it almost feels like it slides up there. But that is a jump. That's definitely a jump. Uh, that's fucking as as nice. That's a high fucking note. Plus, uh, as we let it keep going here, I think they. I can't tell. I, I feel like there was a different push into the chorus. That was different than the first verse. So I want to hear that. And then we'll probably skip ahead a little bit. But uh, yeah, let me hear that one more. Let me hear more one more time. Stepwise again. There is a difference there. That one feels more arrived, I feel like, than it did the first time. Because I feel like there's a separation. Da da da. Like a little pick up and into the into the chorus that I don't feel was there the first time. Um uh, one around fifty. We're on two twenty now. It was around fifty. Yeah, there was, there was, but there was less there. Uh, da da da. Yeah, it, it, it was def definitely still was. Oh, let me let me get let me get that one again. Uh, Okay, okay, we got that, we got that, go and give me around here. It's the exact same. Vocal is exactly the same. The difference is that drum fill, doom, doom, tss, and just kind of everything just kind of comes in there when the first chorus is a lot more, a lot more instruments taken out, and it was just kind of very soft and very simple. This one was very much, yes, you know what the chorus sounds like? We're back to it. That's, that's a cool transition in the chorus there. I like that. All right, we're gonna jump ahead here. We're gonna go to the to the, to the intersection here on two fifty. We're gonna let this last minute and a half here probably roll out. Oh, so. Yeah, I like the chorus. Let me hear the chorus again. Why not? Um, yeah. So the flute-like instrument comes back into this whole kind of breakdown section. I want to hear what goes on here. Nice push into this new section here. Just kind of that separate uh, separation. Uh, the silence kind of things fade off and then it just pushes into it. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. Na, 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 na. Last notes I don't remember. Like, I kind of like that that held on the, uh, the held note, repeated note, and then it goes down a little bit and falls off at the end. There, it's kind of some beautiful shaping to those phrases. I like that. I like that. And the strings and the vocal line is, is is melding and meshing really beautifully here as well. Every time I'm hearing the vocal line just doing some embellishments or holding out some notes, I'm hearing the movement of the strings, the violins, and and different instrument string-like instruments that's going on here. Of course, the occasional piano notes as well. Um, that just like every time they just they meld and fuse so well together. Of 
So she moves down to some lower notes there. And I'm hearing another vocal line underneath her. That also sounds like it might be going up to the little higher notes there as well. Hold on. No, give me no, give me a second here. Yeah, no, that whole line, I remember you're the reason I have to stay, like another voice comes in and like they're so close together, it almost sounds like her voice is being doubled, uh, like both the lines are seeing the same thing and then it kind of breaks off there at the end. It just has this almost like hum to the sound because of the layering of those two vocal lines there. That is interesting. It does very interesting things to her vocals. That plus those lower notes with her trying to keep that kind of more breathy, airy sound just has this hum to the sound. It's very interesting. It's like the whole sound is like buzzing with energy there. It's very interesting. A harmony going on there and just playing the, uh, again it's another of Sharon's vocal lines that's harmonizing with herself and it's like really high glassy notes in there Like and then just and I'll just kind of want to be awake around the same time with you. I'll cut off. Gorgeous, very beautiful ballad there. I was correct. I had a feeling this was going to be emotional and and very ballady and very soft and smooth. And I was right, though I did not predict that that level of instrumentation. And then that was mm, that writing was beautiful. Yeah, very gorgeous, very, very beautiful song. Like, again, like, this is definitely... Ooh. Excuse me. I don't know why I got tired out of all of a sudden. But that's definitely a song you could throw into... Um, into a very, like, chill, calm kind of music compilation. Like, that's, that's a song that if you're just listening to smooth, soft music to go to sleep to, like, that song's it right there, man. That... As is very calming, very peaceful, very beautiful, but it's not. A, it doesn't seem like it's about a calm, peaceful subject, but it's delivered in such a calm, peaceful, and just emotional way. Like that, that's that's the stuff. Like that's the stuff. You listen to that mixed with like rain ASMR sound effects. You put those two together, like the the rain, very soft, quiet, like the sound of raindrops through that song, that piece. You're snoozing, you're out, you're done, it's over, you're asleep. <laughs> that's, that's beautiful. Truly beautiful, gorgeous piece. Sharon's vocals are amazing in it, as they are in most of her songs. Well, like pretty much all of her songs. I I'm, I'm, I'm giving that pretty much because like, I haven't heard all of her songs. So, you know, I like to, you know, devil's advocate, I like to leave some wig room just in case. I haven't heard one yet, but just in case. You know what I'm saying? You never know. But no one's perfect. You know what I'm saying? Might be close, but not perfect. <laughs> so, I was like, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's, let's be honest. Your vocal lines are always, always impressive. Um, but yeah, no. And here is just a, it's very gorgeous, very smooth, very just nice, high, glassy. Just it's great shit right there. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've said that before, but. Oh, what no, nine that's, a, that's not correct so i went out of pile there um but every time i want to say that's great something i want to say that's great crack because 
IT crowd. If you caught that reference before I said IT crowd, and that's just because you're an awesome person. Um, I just I just love that line. It's great crack. I'm mad for crack. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, next song we have here is Forsaken, which I mean. Uh, every time I hear the word forsaken, I think World of Warcraft. So, like this, I'm I'm, I'm gonna just imagine a crazy, epic, insane song. So, oh, I guess we can World of Warcraft. Uh, did I tell you about that? <laughs> uh, so I'm excited for that. I, I imagine that's gonna be a kick-ass song right there. I feel like just just the title alone. It's gotta be a little bit heavier and like you know a little bit more intense. I just, I just feeling it. But maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? We'll see. Find out together. Thank you all for joining me here today. And I will see you all next time. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't want to forget this. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to find a way to seamlessly blend it in. It just it feels a little forced at the moment. But I'm sure sure I could with more get more comfortable with it it would make more sense but like i i, I would love to to get this time I, I, maybe i play some my arm maybe, well, uh, my arm's a little taken up <laughs> well not really but i could find someone because i this space is taken for in this moment because i know what i'm gonna do there so I'm trying to think of a place I could get that tattoo. Maybe maybe on the arm somewhere, but it'd be hard to be like right here. Uh but I do want to start the the saying thank you for the music. So uh <laughs> let's try the same. Pretend like the never rewind, pretend like that never happened. Uh we'll make it we'll make it it will flow it will flow so seamlessly. You guys ready for this? You, you you're not even prepared for this, but I'm gonna give it to you anyways. <clears throat> so uh Thank you all for joining me here today with M Temptation. Thank you for the music. And I'll see you all next time. I was smooth as fuck. Don't even pretend.